Hey team, it's Warwick from Account Manager Tips here and I am coming at you with my number one sales tip to actually smash your sales targets this year, knock them out of the park. Sit tight because I can tell you what it is. So you want to know what the secret is? It's hard freaking work. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you, but there's no other way to, uh, to get around it. Selling is hard work. Now, if selling was easy, we'd all be doing it, right? We'd all be like uncapped OTE, trailing commissions. We'd be like rolling in cash and we'd be lighting our cigars with $20 notes. Now, it just doesn't happen like that, right? We all know that. How to actually increase your sales and smash your targets is to focus on selling. Now, when you're a salesperson, when you're an account manager, how much of the time are you spending actually on sales driven activities? I bet you it's very little. How many times a week, a day are you in front of decision makers? How many times a week, a day are you talking to your customers and your prospects, understanding their problems, understanding how you can help them, and then going back and presenting and discussing opportunities and solutions that you can uh, plug in with their needs. How often are you making uh, phone calls? How often are you following up? You are probably spending all your time doing completely unrelated activities, solving problems, attending boring, wasteful meetings, you know, sales meetings, which are basically updates. What are you doing, Dave? What are you doing, Mike? How's that pipe looking, John? You know, you're investing your time in the wrong place. So if you want to smash your targets this year, if you want to double your targets, if you want to actually be successful, start with stripping out all of that non-core activity, focusing on getting in front of your customers and your prospects, having those conversations, listening, not talking, don't go into you know, solution mode and come in with all the bells and whistles and all the features and benefits. We're talking about problem solving here. Uh, build your relationships, talk to decision makers and influencers, spend that time hustling, right? Don't spend your time doing emails, doing admin, sitting in boring meetings. And if you have an organization that doesn't support that kind of approach, you need to think about how you can challenge them to, to say, you know, the activities that we're doing in this business just aren't generating enough revenue and enough sales opportunities because we're stuck at a desk doing admin. So spend your time where it needs to be spent in front of customers, in front of prospects and freaking sell. Okay, look, now I know I've probably oversimplified it and I know that selling is a lot more difficult than just simply rocking up and making noise. But I do think that I have a point and I do think that we do you know, fill our weekly activities full of just unrelated, you know, unrelated to actually what our core task is, which is to keep our customers and to sell. And really, if it doesn't feature in those two outcomes, you need to really have a good long look at what you're doing and why you're doing it and think twice about whether or not that's where you should be spending your time. All I gotta say, what do you think? Comment below, let me know if I'm way off or you know, on the money and uh, on the money, oh, that, that was brilliant. I didn't even like script that. Uh, anyway, you know what the drill is. So uh, I will uh, see you in the comments below. Bye for now.